Once again, we're looking at the May 2019 CXD mathematics exam. And we're now on to question 1B. Question 1B reads, Trivell's take-home pay is US $4,320 per fortnight. Every fortnight, Trivell's pay is budgeted as follows. As we can see the budget listing along with the amount, budget item. All right, so you can pause the video and work out the first part. Let me just show you the second part, which is what is the amount of money? We'll read the first one. What is Trivell's annual take-home pay? With the assumption that she works 52 weeks per year. And the second question is, what is the amount of money that Trivell budgets for rent each month? And the third question, all of Trivell's savings is used to pay her son's university tuition costs, which is $150,000. If Trivell's pay remains the same and she saves the same amount each month, what is the minimum amount of years that she must work in order to save enough money to cover her son's tuition? So you could pause the video and work question 1B out. All right. Assume you have done that. Let's take a look at it. Let's analyze the information that we're given. What is the what is Trivell's annual take-home pay? Assuming that she works 52 weeks per year. Well, we can look at it. A fortnight, we're told that every fortnight she's she receives $4,320. And we know what? Let's look at it. All right, so what do we know about a fortnight? Take some time to think about it. And then we will answer this question. All right, what we know about a fortnight, a fortnight, is equal to two weeks, basically. Now, now, fortnights in a year, how many fortnights do we have in a year? Now, a year has 52 weeks. We're assuming that, that she would have worked 52 weeks. Remember the question said that she works 52 weeks per year. So, and we know that a fortnight is equal to two weeks. So how many two weeks do we have in a year? In other words, how many fortnights do we have in a year? If a year has 52 weeks and a fortnight has two weeks, how many fortnights are in a year? Simple, correct. We're going to divide the 52 by two weeks. All right, so a fortnight... So how should we say number of fortnights in a year is equal to 52 divided by 2, right? I want to say 52, we're talking about weeks here. So 52 weeks divided by 2 weeks, which will be equal to, this is actually 2 weeks per fortnight, right? And so that will, that will give us 26 fortnights. All right, so now we have that. So she gets paid 26 times. So another way of looking at this is that she, got, she gets paid 26 times each year are 26 fortnight now what do we know right so you know one fortnight in one fortnight she gets four thousand three hundred and twenty dollars talking about US dollars here so in 26 fortnights, she gets what amount? How would we calculate that? Correct. We'd have to multiply the amount she gets 
in one fortnight by 26, since there are 26 fortnights in a year. And that will give us how much? 12. Let's calculate. Let's double check the amount. All right, I'm not, that is not the right way of doing the calculation. So we have 4, 3, 2, 0 times 26. All right, so we had no, end up with 112,320 20 dollars. Around 12,320 dollars. That's the amount she gets annually. In other words, in 26 fortnights, because there are 26 fortnights in a year. So, in answering that question, Trivels. Annual take home pay is equal to $12,320. All right, so we're now on to the, the next question. Is what is the amount of money that Trivel budgets for each for rent each month. What is the amount of money that Trivel budgets for rent each month? So we need to take a look at the budget item again. What's the items again? That's the amount she budgets for all the items. So savings, seventeen fifty. Food, six twenty nine. Rent, we see X here. In other words, an unknown an unknown quantity. Other expensive, be twice as much, twice the amount. Of the amount budgeted for rent, and that would total 4320 Okay, so how would we approach this question? Hmm. Well, what we do know is that when we add up these amounts, we will get 4320 So let's form an equation out of that. Right, so taking down those amounts, so we have 1750 629 1750 plus 629 plus 2x plus x and that will give us what amount the total amount budgeted which is 4320 and simplifying this We have using our calculator, we're gonna add up the amounts 1750 plus 629, and that will give us well, let me just put that in the calculator here 1750 plus 629, that's 2379 plus 2x plus x is gonna give us 3x equals 4320 okay so next step what we can do we have 3x is equal to 4320 and we're going to subtract this amount here this side so we're going to subtract 2379 from both sides so what we have is x well 3x is equal to let's subtract from 4320 2379 what we end up with is um 1941 i have to double check this figure i'm done but let's look at it is equal to 1941 divided by 3. Now what I did here, I divide both sides by 3. 3x three equal 1941. Divide by 3, give me x. Divide this side as well by 3. And so what I have is that x is equal to 
647. All right, so I need to double check this, this figure quickly. So we have 1750, what's the budget item? 1750 plus 629. That gives me 2379. All right, so this answer will be correct. So we're going to stop there, and that will be our solution for that question. All right, so x is equal to 647. But wait, we need to figure out what is x. Let's go back and see what was asked. Ask, x represents rent. So we need to make that statement. We can just leave it like that. And so we can then stay put. Therefore, okay, just a minute. So we can say, therefore, rent, which is equal to, which is x, is equal to 647. All right, so we'll look at it, x equals 647. Of course, other expenses, if we were asked that, we can actually figure it out. It would be twice the amount for rent. So it would be 247 times 2. That will give us for the other expenses. Okay, so looking at the next question. For the next question, it says here, all of Travel Saban is used to pay her son's university tuition, which is 150000 And Travel's, if Travel pay, if Travel's pay remains the same, and she saves the same amount each month, so her pay remains the same, and she saves the same amount, what is the minimum amount of years that she must work in order to save enough money to cover her son's tuition costs? So how are we going to handle uh, that question? Well, we want to look at the number of years. In other words, this question is basically asking us, so let's highlight the, um, the question is asking us, what is the minimum amount or minimum number of years that she must work in order to save enough money. So these are keywords here, to save enough money. So we're looking at her savings. All right, and cover her son's tuition cost. So we're gonna use these um, variables here. So we're looking for the number of years, and the two things that we're looking at to deal to deal with that is this: her savings and the tuition cost. So one thing we can actually take from this is that um, that the years to save enough money, number of years, or the minimum number of years, I should say, minimum. We're assuming that she doesn't get any, uh, she hasn't, she's not getting money from anywhere else to save in addition to what she's saving already. We're just assuming that she's only getting the savings from what she has budgeted here, being the um, 1750 every uh, fortnight. So from the minimum years. To save enough money so should be equal to the tuition costs divided by the annual savings now let's see if that makes sense now let's assume let's assume that the the tuition is let's assume that the tuition is the tuition costs is a thousand dollars correct let's assume it's a thousand dollars this is not part of the this, this, the, the solution given the, or the question given just assume, making an assumption the tuition cost is a thousand dollars and she saves five hundred dollars she budgets five hundred dollars as savings every year how many years minimum would she need or the minimum amount of years would she need to cover the tuition if she's saving five hundred dollars a year Yes, you're correct. You'll divide that tuition cost of $1,000 by the amount that she saves, which is $500 per year. And it will take her two years to cover that. That's one year, or $500 another year, $500. So she will be able to cover her cost. It's a total cost divided by total servant savings per year. That's how the formula comes up.
All right, so we're looking at the tuition cost of $150,000. And we're gonna do divide that by the division sign here. Divided by the yearly savings. Now, how are we gonna get the yearly savings? Now, how much she saves uh, for each fortnight? $17.50, correct? She saves $17.50 each fortnight. And how many fortnights are in a year? 26 fortnights as we, we figured from before. So we're going to multiply 1750 per fortnight and we have 26 fortnights in a year. So that will be your annual savings. So let me just write that out over the side here. Our annual savings is equal to um, amount per fortnight times the number of fortnights in a year. Right, and that will give us let's get it. Number fortnights, number of per fortnight, seventeen fifty. And the number of fortnights in a year is twenty six. So she gets paid twenty six times per year. All right, remember that. And she's saving twenty six um seventy fifty each time she gets paid. So that more savings she would have made in a year would be seventeen fifty times twenty six. Is forty five five hundred. Forty five thousand five hundred. So we're gonna divide that one thousand one hundred and fifty thousand son's tuition costs. We're gonna divide that by the forty five five hundred annual savings, and that will give us the division will give us um, 3.297 all right the minimum number of years that'll be 3.297 years which is an approximation really and so definitely she would need more than three years but less than four years so we can say the minimum number of years would be approximately um, approximately four years you definitely would need more than three years but wouldn't need up to, wouldn't need more than four years in a minimum so we can say approximately four years all right so that will be the final answer okay so let's highlight that as our solution Alright, hope that helps.